Stuart, it would be fair to say that you're pretty big Matsura fans here at Medley Precision Engineers. That's correct, isn't it? It is correct, yes. As you can see, we've got quite an array, yeah. Not only new machines, I, I mean, where did this journey start with Matsura? Uh, I guess it started about 10 years ago. We, uh, we bought a twin pallet RA1 vertical machining centre um, and it sort of escalated from there really. As demand grew, different parts came into the factory. We moved on to the 15 pallet horizontal and a couple of five axis machines as you can see now. As a company, what do you manufacture and, and who for? What sort of industries? Yeah, we, 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 we service quite an array of uh, uh, industries at the moment. We do a lot of oil and gas, which is sort of drifted away slightly. Um, we do aerospace work. Um, we, we do all sorts, basically, all, all subcontract machining. And when you did start this journey with Matsura, what, why did it start? What were the things that you liked about their machines or that pushed you in that direction? We just liked, we liked the concept of them. We had good reports. We, we worked closely with a local company called SPS Aerostructures. Um, we did a lot of their tooling and fixtures for their Matsuras. So we were close to Matsura before we actually bought any. And you went from a twin pallet vertical machining center up to now where you've got a H plus 300. This is a 15 pallet machine. Where do you see the advantage with the 15 pallets? Programs are stored not only in the machine but they're backed up off the machine tool also. We have numerous setups on the machine we just leave in for continually running work. Setup times are minimal. You know, it, Basically, it's just the amount of time it takes to put a program in there and the job's up and running. And, and with the 15 pallets then, is, it, is this machine running lights out? You're running 24-7? It has done it in the past, yes, it has, yeah. And is it all about having the same part, lots of the same part, or is it the fact that you've got lots of flexibility on those 15 pallets? You could have 15 different parts, couldn't you? You can, yeah, that, that is the beauty of it. You've got the flexibility. You can have 15 different jobs on 15 different pallets. Not only have you got the pallets, you've got four faces on each pallet. You know, if you've got a cube on there, You've got four faces on, on a cube. You can have different parts on the same pallet. And then following on from the horizontal, the, the multi-pallet there, you've got these two new MX520 machines. And I believe that th there is talk. I just spoke to John. He said you may even look at a third. This is a fairly new machine to Matsura, a few years old now. What's your opinion of it? Oh, I think they're great. I love them. Not only do we use these as full five axis, but as you can see the machine we're using there now, we've got a micro lock vice table on there. So we, we incorporate standard blocks into five axis parts. We're cutting operations down by using the five axis. It's just a great machine. When Matsura embarked on this new five axis machine project, they would have known that they got lots of stiff competition. Why do you think they've been successful? Well, I think there was a, an area in the market Matsura didn't really cover with the five-axis machine. Uh, Matsura probably renowned for the multi-pallet systems, uh, the production type machine, uh, bringing out a single table five-axis, I think opened another market for Matsura, you know, and it suited us to the ground because not all our work is palletized. It's not all production work. We do short batches, which suits the five-axis. If I was to say to you, cost of ownership, what, what, is that something that you consider here when you're buying machine tools? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's renowned Matsura aren't the cheapest in the market, but what you get back is great service, great applications, great backup from Matsura, great runtime off the machines, you know, all into one. It's, it's a good saving per month. Let's have a look at this component here. Could you just pick this up for me, Stuart? Can you, can you tell me what, what this is made from and, and how you're doing it? This is a high strength alloy uh, aerospace part. Um, we we multi-axis multi -axis machine this part. So we'll, we'll clamp it to the machine table. As you can see, we'll machine this, machine this at the time, we'll cut and we'll do the sides at the same time, we'll put the bores in. So we've turned a 10 part, 10 operation part into maybe three or four operations. As a result of the MX-520? To put it on the MX-520, yeah. Is this, is the tight tolerances on this? Very tight, yeah. The bores are tied down to a few tenths. We interpolate the bores out due to the quality of the spindle on the Matsura. We don't bore these, we interpolate. Um, slot widths are quite tight, so all the accuracy is paramount to these sort of parts, which we get from the Matsura. And how does this start its life, this part? This part starts its life as a forging. It's, it looks heavy to me. Can you pick that up? You manage it? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's the forging. This part starts its life as 
and as you can see it turns into a quite complex component for the aerospace industry. So the metal removal on there is quite extensive, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite a chunk of metal to remove, as you can see, yeah. What, 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 what sort of depths of cut would you be taking? We'll take a two or three more depth of cut on that. Obviously, it's all dependent on work holding. You know, as you can, it's not the easiest thing to hold, but work holding allows you to take big cuts with the, the mat surface spindle. And how long would it actually take you to make this? I'm intrigued, Stuart. Well, to get this into the rough stage takes about four to five hours, and obviously there's the finishing operations that are going through now. So the finishing ops are probably, again, four to five hours. So you're looking at a nine-hour part um, from start to finish. OK, OK, brilliant. And now, when we talk about Medley Precision Engineers, you, you've got a, a statement on your website that you achieve 99.8% on-time delivery. That's... that's, that's pretty good isn't it? We, we pride ourselves on delivery and quality hence the reason we've got the Matsura machines.